The topic of this video is properties of radicals, and specifically, properties needed to solve radical equations that contain variable expressions under the radicals. Let's look at a problem. Raised to the power, simplify. All right, we have one minus the square root of the sum x plus four, all in parentheses, raised to the second power. The first thing we need to pay attention to is the symbol between the radical and the non-radical. That symbol is subtraction, which means we need to use the FOIL multiplication method. As a reminder, FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last. So we're going to rewrite this as 1 minus the square root of the sum x plus 4, all in parentheses, times another copy of that same thing. Okay, now we perform the FOIL multiplication method. F for first. So the first part of each parenthesis gets multiplied. So we have a 1 times a 1. Now outer. So the stuff on the outside, which would be this 1 and this radical. Notice that it's being subtracted. That becomes a negative when you write it in FOIL format. So this would be a negative square root of the sum x plus 4. Inner would be the two on the inside, so that would be this subtracted radical and this one. A subtraction sign becomes a negative when we rewritten using FOIL. And finally, last, which would be the things that are at the end of each pair of parentheses, which is this subtracted radical times this subtracted radical. Both subtraction signs become negative, so I have negative radical times negative radical. So here are my four product pairs. In between each one, I need to put a plus sign. Now I will begin to simplify. One times one is one. A positive times a negative is a negative. And when you add a negative, you are subtracting. So this is subtract one square root of x plus four. Similarly, a positive times a negative is a negative, and adding a negative is subtraction. So this becomes minus one square root of x plus 4. A negative times a negative is a positive, and because the radicals match, this can be rewritten as the square root of x plus 4, all in parentheses, squared. And because the result was positive and we're adding, we write plus. Now we begin to simplify further. We have 1. These two like radicals can be combined. They are both the same type, square root and square root, and they have the same part underneath, the radicand x plus 4. So when combining like this, you keep the radical the same, but you combine the coefficients. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2, so we write subtract 2 square root of the sum x plus 4. And here at the end, the square and the square root cancel, leaving us x plus 4. Now combine your like terms. We've got a number 1 and a number 4. Those are the only like terms. Those are going to make 5. So we have this x, the 5, and then minus 2 square root of x plus 4.